In this video, Italian Grandma Lulu will show us how to make a rich seafood spaghetti, bursting with the flavors of the sea. A classic in Italy year-round and a favorite for Christmas Eve. Here's our grocery list, including calamari, shrimp, clams, and mussels. Grandma Lulu starts by doing some seafood prep. She slices the calamari into rings, cuts the squid into cubes, and slices any tentacles in half. Grandma says she couldn't resist adding something extra special that she found fresh at the grocery, mantis shrimp but you can consider them totally optional. Leave them out or replace them with a few more shrimp of your choice. Step one is to cook the shellfish. Since we'll need the resulting broth for our sauce, and some of the cooked shellfish for seasoning as well. When steaming shellfish, Grandma Lulu always starts by sauteing garlic in a pan with olive oil, or what Italians call a sofrito. Then she adds the shellfish and cooks until most of the shells have opened up. Toss any shellfish with unopened shells, as they aren't safe to eat. Then we need to save the broth, one of the main ingredients to making our delicious pasta sauce. Grandma sets aside some cooked clams and mussels for decorating the plates later, and removes the meat from the rest. She says to leave the meat soaking in the broth so that they don't dry out. The shellfish cooked and broth set aside, Grandma moves on to step two, cooking the scampi, squid, and calamari. She covers the bottom of a pan with olive oil, adds garlic and fresh red pepper, and sautés over medium-high heat until fragrant. Then she adds the scampi, cooking them for two to three minutes. Then Grandma removes the scampi and the garlic and pepper since the oil is already flavored. In goes the squid and calamari. She adds just a pinch of salt, since our freshly made seafood broth will be naturally salty, and we'll be adding it to the sauce later. A bit of freshly ground black pepper, and when you start to see the oil turn color, a half a cup of white wine to deglaze the pan. Pinot Grigio is always a good choice here. When the wine has evaporated, it's time to make our seafood pasta sauce. Grandma adds two spoons of tomato puree. Always look for tomato products that say they are made from San Marzano tomatoes, which are sweet and flavorful. Then, in go the cherry tomatoes, halved, and a bit of salt. 
Adesso mettiamo un pochino di sale. But just a pinch, Grandma says, because we are about to add the broth we made from cooking the clams and mussels. We let this cook on medium-high heat for a few minutes. Facciamo bollire qualche minuto. It smells amazing. E il nostro fumetto è pronto. Lulu now adds those optional mantis shrimp to add additional flavor and to have some extra seafood meat to enjoy. These shrimp are often called cicada of the sea in Italy. And while the name isn't terribly appetizing, the meat is surprisingly sweet and succulent. Some even prefer it to scampi. <laughs> At this point, Grandma reintroduces the seafood she just prepared to add even more flavor to the sauce. The clam and mussel meat. The scampi. Mettiamo di nuovo dentro i nostri scampi. Scampi perché così insaporiscono il pomodoro. Quando dobbiamo mettere i spaghetti dentro la padella chiaramente tolgo un po' di pesce and someone new tiny succulent shrimp and of course the critical final ingredient seafood broth here grandma's adding all of the broth that was produced from steaming the shellfish she adds the broth slowly to prevent any sand that might have settled at the bottom of the broth from getting into our sauce we recommend just straining the broth to be sure your sauce is free of surprises Adesso gustiamo se va bene di sale. And it's time to do the final salt check. Ooh. And Grandma Lulu is happy with her seasoning. She covers and cooks the sauce for five more minutes. In the meantime, she's cooking the spaghetti. Cook the spaghetti for this dish to al dente, according to the package instructions. Grandma tosses the cooked spaghetti in her rich seafood sauce. Dentro questo bel sumetto. and adds the succulent seafood she's prepared back to the dish before serving. Però mi riesce. Mi sto... Unbelievably satisfying. Mm, che profumo. The spaghetti by itself is to die for. Ecco pronti nostri spaghetti. Positively bursting with that special, savory, umami flavor. Grandma's recipe is sure to please. But feel free to adjust the quantities of seafood if you prefer. If you want to save some time and money, you could skip the fresh clams and mussels and instead reach for bottled clam juice and fresh or frozen shellfish meat when making the sauce. Bello, 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 bello. Digo di sì. Let Grandma know that you like her video by clicking the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell for future video notifications. Sì, sì, assaggiamo se sono venuti bene. Buon appetito!